Paul Pogba scored twice to continue the Ole feel-good factor for Manchester United as they beat Clucky Huddersfield to make it two wins out of two under their new caretaker boss. Pogba looks much happier under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and scored with two right foot strikes to show his quality. Nemanja Matic opened the scoring for United, who laboured at times, and this victory adds another boost to their top four hopes. Solskjaer got a great reception on his first return to Old Trafford as caretaker boss, and his appointment has transformed the mood at United in front of watching co-chairman Abram Glazer. Huddersfield sank to a sixth straight loss, but might have got something, and they missed chances through Terence Congolo and Philip Billing, while David De G made a brilliant save to deny Laurent de Poitou. Here's five talking points from the match, courtesy of our man David Anderson. 1. Solskjaer has transformed the atmosphere at Old Trafford Old Trafford was buzzing before kickoff, something it rarely was under Jose Mourinho. 2. Solskjaer's appointment has completely blown away the sterility, negativity and apathy under Mourinho. The fans chanted Solskjaer's name when he walked out and he waved to them and gave them the thumbs up before hugging club mascot, Fred the Red. The United fans love his passion and the Norwegian hugged Michael Carrick and Kieran McKenna when Nemanja Matic gave open the scoring. Two. Fred is being given a fresh start despite being United's big money buy of the summer at pounds 52 million, Fred did not get much of a look in under Jose Mourinho. The Brazil midfielder made just six Premier League starts under Mourinho with the former United boss offering the lame excuse that he could not play him because his defence was so fragile. Solskjaer has no such reservations and handed him his first Premier League start against Huddersfield since November 3. Fred looked off the pace at times, catching Alex Pritchard late to earn a booking and needs a consistent run in the team to realize his potential. Three. Solskjaer can get the best out of Marcus Rashford Rashford started against Huddersfield because he was United's last striker standing with Romelu Lukaku, Alexis Sanchez and Anthony Marshall all unavailable for differing reasons. He seized his chance and followed up his goal-scoring display against Cardiff with another fine performance. He troubled Huddersfield with his pace and skill all afternoon. His corner led to the opener for Nemanja Matic, while he also beat Matthias Jorgensen on the left to create a fine chance for Diogo Dalit. Four. Huddersfield must buy a goalscorer in January David Wagner's loyalty to strikers Steve Mowney and Laurent de Poitier is laudable, but neither has scored a single Premier League goal this season, despite making 33 appearances between them. De Poitier was denied by a brilliant save by David de G, but Huddersfield are still the league's lowest scorers with 12 goals. They are not turning their decent performances into more points because they don't score enough.
They need to boost their goal threat in the January transfer window to give themselves a better chance of surviving. Five. Huddersfield are still fighting. A quick glance at Huddersfield's run of six defeats, which is their worst in the Premier League, would suggest they are doomed. Yet once again the scoreline did not reflect the game and Huddersfield played well. Critically they missed two good chances from Terence Congolo and Philip Billing, while David Baggi also made a stunning save from Laurent Depoitier. David Wagner's side are showing most of the qualities they need to survive, and they just need the last ingredient of being able to put the ball in the back of the net.